I believe strongly in predestination. I, I believe that, you know, um, I was born for the role that I play with Fela. In the last 36 years, I've designed over 2,000 covers, but it's the Fela covers that I'm known with all over the world. I was able to relate to Fela effectively because we shared ideologies. I totally understood what it was about and what he was trying to portray. So it was a lot easier for me to illustrate effectively. A lot of times I was privy to the creation process. You know, I was like his son in a way. I was um, a comrade in arms and I was one of his best friends and his youngest advisor at that point in time. The relationship was very, very cordial. Seeing the, the, the show, um, you know, I'm an artist, I'm a creative person. I, I really appreciate the whole creative process. I love the writing, the scripting. And the way Fela's mother's story is woven into it and all the effects, I love the effects. When the Egungus were performing, those kind of mercury lighting and the white clothes and all that, a lot of activity is going on. I love the fact that, you know, they go in the audience. I'm sure that's not Broadway-like, but that's Africa Shrine, exactly, you know, and Kalakuta itself. But for me, who experienced Fela's life to a certain degree, Seeing that show, the story, the political situation in Nigeria, everything is woven correctly, you know. How many stars? Five? I'm giving six. <laughs> My call to fame is the covers of Fela I did. At a point in time, I'm going to do a painting of Fela standing like a giant and the shadow will be Lemmy. <laughs> I remain in Fela's shadow and I'm even proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>